What's up guys, Dan the Soul Man here, and uh, today I got a pair of OG Authentics from the Vans Vault line. I know I've been kind of lagging it with making these videos, I've been kind of busy behind, but I think I'm finally catching up, so bear with me here guys. Um, these are actually a collaboration with uh, Shoe Boutique Bodega, and I bought these uh, when they had a sale going on, not really a sale in the true sense of the word sale. Um, things weren't really discounted, at least on at first, uh, but they were kind of clearing out their warehouse or whatever, and they had a bunch of stuff like unreleased samples or um, just like pieces of their collaborations they done with other companies that they hadn't sold, I guess, and they put them for sale online, and this shoe here uh, was part of a collaboration that they did back in 2013, and it was... It was kind of a weird uh, inspired collaboration in my opinion. Um, they, it was the Coming to America pack is what they were dub dubbing it. Um, inspired by the movie Coming to America with Eddie Murphy in it. Very strange inspiration for a, pair of sh for a pack of shoes, but that's what they said. So, whatever. Um, and it released with two, three authentics. Um, a kind of a watermelon colored authentic, which I call watermelon because it was a green and red colored authentic, a kind of a brown and like a tan colored authentic, and then this one right here. Now, this one and the red and green sold out from the website when they released back in 2013. The brown one, not so much. Um, kind of not a good looking shoe in my opinion, and clearly in most people's opinions because they are sitting on Bodega's website for... I mean, almost two years until they actually finally reduced the price on them. Uh, but these guys were definitely the favorites among everyone. They sold out uh, the quickest, but I wasn't able to buy a pair. And ever since then, I've been, you know, scouring eBay, trying to find a pair in my size, and I, ha I, I wasn't able to. So when I saw that these were up on the website again during that sale, I peed. <laughs> I almost peed myself, really. I was with excitement because... Um, I, I really dig this shoe. I think it's a very cool shoe. Um, it's got a lot of what I dig about collaborations. Um, and we'll get into that as I, as we, as I show you guys the shoe. But um, So the three shoes had three different prints on them, um, all inspired by African um, style tapestries and fabrics and whatnot. So... Already you've got a cool design concept for the upper of the shoes. And I think that's why they decided to go with canvas for all of them. Uh, they were a little pricey. They retailed for $110 when they came out. I actually had to pay $120 for them is what they put them on their website for. Um, <laughs> I'm not too mad because, like I said, I've been looking forever. And sometimes when you find something that you really want, you just got to pay for it. So, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, um, but it is an all-canvas shoe. All three of them were. But, like I said, it's got a lot of nice little details, little extras that kind of push it over the top over a pair of canvas shoes that you get, like, at the van store. So, let's get into that here. So, we've got that cool, uh, the reason why this is my favorite was the colorway, clearly. This blue canvas with this, like, golden yellow design and these red, kind of a floral paisley designs. Um are just badass in my opinion. Um, I really dig it and it kind of varies from shoe to shoe so each shoe is a little different you know we've got I mean look at that mostly red on this one mostly blue here it just it looks really cool I really like the way these look I like the way that this print looks just really works I think um, <clears throat> and like I said I was talking about that some of those details that these have that really make them a cool collaboration in my opinion and we'll get started with the eyelets here as you can see they're not your normal uh, <laughs> eyelets in fact I think this is the first shoe to do this and some shoes have done this including I think the uh, latest DQM collaboration the brownstone pack they had one of these tortoiseshell eyelets um, I, I do this because they're not real tortoiseshell it's kinda just like an amber plastic with uh, black spots painted on top of it because you can see through it it's not real tortoise shell but uh, still pretty cool 
if they were actual tortoiseshell, that'd be badass. Um, but still a pretty cool little detail there. <clears throat> then we've got the binding on the authentic, which is this little stri little piece of fabric that they stitch to the ankle portion that goes all the way down through where the laces are. And they did it up in a very nice, premium, soft, supple leather. Um, like I said, <clears throat> clearly they couldn't go with a, with a leather on the upper of the shoe because they needed to do that print. Uh, but they did include a nice premium leather here. And I know it's not a lot of fabric, and clearly it's not anything to really go crazy about. But just that little touch of, you know... A little extra touch that they did here is pretty cool. Also goes around the tongue here. <clears throat> then we've got the midsole, which is an off-white color. Um, and then we've got this cool foxing, which is actually two different colors. So overall, the midsole, including the foxing, has got three different colors. We've got that off-white midsole, a lighter tan foxing, and then a more golden tan brown foxing stripe um, very cool I think that the other shoes kind of had different <clears throat> foxings I don't remember exactly Vans off the wall originals here in that same golden color and off-white uh, darker gum waffle out so here nothing too special down here then on the inside of the shoe uh, we've got that bodega branding in a cool kind of a gold ink print. It's like a little flag with a skull and a rose. Pretty cool. <clears throat> then we've got that bodega B on the inside of the tongue here. And that same gold ink. And then we've got the laces. Uh, the laces, kind of this weird like Wo like weird woven like rope braided type lace um let's get a let's see here yeah so you can see like they're kind of braided and it's kind of cool I, I actually really like it normally i'm not a big fan of round laces but <clears throat> these really do work i think uh they included a set of leather laces and normally when you got leather laces as opposed to cotton laces, you want to go with the leather ones, but I think that the white and the texture of these really works well with the shoe. I think I'm going to stick with that. Little Vans flag here in a darker golden brown, and then vault on the reverse. Very cool shoe. I'm excited to finally have this in my collection and to actually start wearing them because I really do like them. I think they're <clears throat> very exciting um, and then another thing that I'm really big on for collaborations is the packaging and they definitely delivered here you got a black drawer box with that same logo that's on the on the inside of the shoe here printed in a silver metallic uh, mirror finish vault on the sides <clears throat> and then like I said it is an OG authentic bodega Panya Blue is the colorway. Panya is actually a kind of a like a African loincloth kind of skirt thing. So ties into the whole African <clears throat> theme going on there. And like I said, the original retail price of these was 110. When they put them back up on their website, I had to pay 120. So <laughs> yeah. And they also came with a drawer, uh, sorry, not drawer box, a um Dust bag. Same logo printed on one side here with that gold ink. And then the B on the reverse with some pretty cool thick leather drawstring strings here. Nice touches throughout. I mean, really, really pay attention to detail on this shoe. Um, and I think that the prints on them were really cool too. I really like the red and green ones too, but <clears throat> I don't know. If, I don't remember if they put those up, but I wasn't about to spend another hundred twenty dollars on those because these were definitely my favorite. And 
I'm glad I got them. So let me know what you guys think about these shoes. It is an older release, so you guys probably have already, if you're really into Vans, you've already heard about them, you already know about them. Um, but yeah, put some comments down there, and that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, to check out more of my shoes. Um, and if you hit, the, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And see you next time.